Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Okay, pens down now. Listening. We did um, an introduction on Pythagoras in our last lesson. Today we're going to learn how to find the length of the hypotenuse using the Pythagoras theorem. What was special about our hypotenuse? Yeah. It was the largest side. It was the, the largest side. longest side. And how do we know which one's the uh, hypotenuse? What's the position, location? Opposite side of the right angle, that is right. So these are the steps that you must follow to uh, find the length of the hypotenuse. So first thing you do is label the sides. The first side you label in your right angle triangle is C, which is the hypotenuse. So you find where your 90 degree angle is. Is this the 90 degree angle? Yeah. Pens down, please. The side opposite to it, you label that as C. Doesn't matter which uh, is A and B then? No, so A and B can be anything. So we label, then we write the formula. We learned about the Pythagoras theorem's formula. Then we substitute the values of A and B, and the ma we make sure that A and B are in the, the same unit. So if it's A is in centimeters, B must be in centimeters as well. Or they should both be in meters or millimeters. Any unit, but they have to be the same. If it's not the case, then you convert one of them. And if the question does not ask for decimals, do we give decimals? No, no. no. I'm allergic to decimals. No decimals. So what should we leave our answer in? <coughs> third form. Exact form. No decimals. Third form. Which form do we leave our answer in? Third. Yeah, which is also called the exact form. All right, let's now follow these steps and find the missing length in this triangle. Label the triangle. This is the 90 degree angle, so this must be hypotenuse. A and B doesn't matter. Check A and B. Do they have the same units? Yes. Let's move on. Writing the formula. Sub in the numbers. Now, what is C equal to? X. X. So C squared becomes X squared. What's A? 11 So yeah, we write 11 squared and B is 6 squared. You should know what 11 squared is equal to? What 6 squared equal to? 36. So we add them. Is that right? Now, quiet. If x squared is 157, how can I find x? What's the opposite of squaring both sides? Square rooting both sides. So I'm going to do the square root on both sides. Technically it should be plus minus, but we'll talk about that later. So x will be equal to square root of 157. I want you to open up your CAS and type in square root 157 and see if it can be simplified now. So your CAS, uh, I didn't say talk, I said take out your CAS and type in root 157. Whose CAS is it? Yeah, I thought it was out of that. Square root 157. Did you get that again? Yeah. Perfect. What does that mean? Uh, it cannot be simplified. So that is the final answer. Now, do I convert it into a decimal? No, it's a sin to give decimal answers if it's not asked. So can I leave it as the answer? Yeah. Is something missing? There is something missing. It's a length. So it should have a? Exactly, a unit. What units were A and B in? Put your answer in the box so it's explicitly stated. Clear? Yes. Cast down, pens down. Next one. Same thing, finding the missing length. The first side that we label is the hypotenuse, C. Opposite to the right angle. Is this C? So A and B can be anything? Checking the units for A and B. Do they have the same units? Yes. Let's write the formula. C squared equals? We haven't been given any other pronouns, so uh, pens down please. I should not have to repeat myself. So C squared equals, what's A? 32 What's B? 45. On your class, find 32 squared plus 45 squared for me please. In one go, enter 32 squared plus 45 squared. The squared button is just below the trick button. So 32 squared plus 45 squared. 3,049. 3,049. Okay, if you say so. Alright, Kaznil. If C squared is 3,049, 
has in 49, how would we find C? What's the opposite of squaring both sides in an equation? Square root. Square root. Can I square root both sides? All right. So in your cans, enter this. Square root of 3049. How do we get the square root sign? We press control and the x squared button. Turn around, eyes on the board. Control x squared will give you the square root sign. So control x squared, 3049. You get the same answer, that means it cannot be simplified. Again, something's missing. Meters. That is your answer. Copy.